good improv is not one person on stage commanding all the attention. It's a team environment where in order for the, the sketch to play out, everyone needs to have an opportunity to play along and join in. And I'd love to hear from you, Suzanne. Were there any limiting beliefs that you had going into improv that you had to work through? It sounds like in the beginning, right, you you had that same sense of like, I'm not funny. This isn't something I should be working on. Yeah, I, I definitely like I had always been silly growing up and I thought that there was a difference between, um, oh, I can be silly with my friends and being a funny comedian or something like that. So. When I first started improv, which I was very resistant to, I will keep saying I was resistant to. <laughs> I feel like I was resistant to it even just a couple years ago. I was like, I guess I'm an improviser now. But I very much am a little bit of a control freak. I like to make sure things go as planned, and that can hurt me a little bit. So in improv, I always this is a story that I think describes it perfectly. Um, we were six weeks in to my first class, and my teacher had said was explaining how to do a game and he said does anyone have any questions and I started to raise my hand and he said except you Suzanne put your <laughs> hand down just do it just stop trying to get it perfect yeah. because while I am not necessarily a perfectionist in everything in life I can be about certain things and it can hinder my growth because I don't do it because it's not perfect so I wasn't playing the games in my head perfectly. So I wasn't having fun and I wasn't doing it right. And as soon as he said that to me, I had this moment of like, oh my gosh, he's totally right. I need to stop being so worried about getting it perfect. And from then on, I started to have more fun and in turn be better and get better responses from my classmates and start to enjoy it more. And kind of since then, I've just always been a little bit more like, I'm not gonna plan how this is gonna go. I'm gonna prepare, but I'm not gonna plan. Right. And it's been a lot easier for me. So I feel like it's leaked into my um, personal life too. And yeah. I know the one thing that I love about improv and one of the main reasons we really cheer our clients on after the program to take improv is the camaraderie you build in that safe space mm -hmm. where you're failing together. It's a challenging activity. It doesn't matter what level you're at, one or year 10. It's still going to challenge you. There are going to be moments where you don't think on your feet, but you got to stay in there. You're on stage. You can't just exit stage left, right? If people are watching you. And then the friendships that come out of it. And when I was in college, my ex-girlfriend had joined an improv troupe, and it became her entire social circle. And then I got a chance to hang out with everyone in that group. And they were the most fun, loving, amazing, supportive friends that you could ask for. And I know we've had an opportunity to see all of your friends in your troupe and, and the relationships that you've built through improv, which has been another huge win for our clients to experience.